Alrighty, hello guys, Dogmi Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are actually going to be continuing on with our aircraft right here. As you guys can see, it is not very buoyant at the minute because it likes to tip itself over. But today we're actually going to go ahead and work on the tail fin. Uh, and hopefully we can actually make the back of this plane look pretty good. And then after that, we can actually work on the wings and stuff like that. And then get this thing actually working and flying and also sitting in the water very nicely. We need to delete those blocks right there. And if we can actually check real quick uh, whether... Hold on, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Whether this is actually sealed or not. It is actually sealed. Um, that's good. That's really, really good. So we don't even need that red bit in there because it is already sealed. That's awesome. Alright, well anyway, let's go ahead and grab this thing and we'll actually get rid of all of the red and we'll still see if it floats. Uh, and if it does still float, then that is epic and awesome and everything, so that's good. Uh, and if it doesn't float, then I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to remove some things and figure it out, but that's okay. That is completely fine. Alright, cool. So, delete all of this. There we go. Delete all of this. Keep deleting it. Delete all of this as well. And that is all of the red gone except from this bit, which is okay. Uh, we're going to delete the big battery as well, because that's fine. And we're going to delete these guys out here, because they shouldn't be there. All right, spawn it in, see if it still floats. Yes, it does. That is awesome. Good. Okie dokie. So there are a few things that I would like to uh, make better on this thing. I'm not sure if I like these being here like this, or whether we should actually grab something like this, let's say, and put them lower down. Uh, it would be cool if we did do that, but I'm not sure. Also, we could do both, I suppose. If we just delete this piece, we can actually just attach that to there like that. And that is kind of sick. I don't know. Do we want extra extra supports or do we want to just keep it as minimal as possible? I'm not sure. I think as minimal as possible for right now, but we may end up doing something better in the future. But for now, I want to actually work on the tail fin because I'm not sure how I want this to look. Okay, so I guess what we could actually do is we could actually do a big old block like this. Uh, send it forwards like that and then do something down here and send this forwards as well uh, and essentially make a system out of this uh, and the reason I've done this is because we'll end up deleting I don't know four uh, delete another four there we go delete maybe another four and then start deleting two and then one there we go and then we'll do it with two there we go and then four awesome and then possibly even four again uh, but no, we'll do it with two and then one and that's it. All right, cool. So let's say this is our tail fin. The, essentially, the way this works is we'll do something like this. Bam. There we go. Very good. We'll do something right here as well, like that. And then we'll do something here. Ah, like this. All right, very good. And then we'll do another one of these right here. Boop. And then we'll do one of these guys. Boop. And we'll do one of these guys right on the tippity top, just like so. Uh, and that will be a decent looking tail fin. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. But I am kind of thinking that it should be a little bit longer. So we're actually going to go four right there. And we're going to attach a another piece on right there. And I think that actually looks really, really good. I like it. But there are other problems. We actually need to delete a lot of this. Because uh, we're going to need a control surface somewhere in there. So let's go ahead and try and put one of those in. Control. Uh, let's go with large. All right, cool. So if we use the large one, it'd be that big. If we used a medium one, it would actually be smaller. And we can actually fit it in about there in the middle. Okay, very good. So now if we just seal this back up, just like so, that doesn't look too bad. That looks alright. Okay, so with that being said then, we then need to attach some more things to this thing, being uh, uh, horizontal stabilizers. So they're going to have to go in here somewhere. And I'm thinking halfway up would actually be a pretty cool place to start it. So we're actually going to start these right here, and they're going to be... Um, well, actually, let's do it with this to begin with, and we will have it in that position. So, we'll have it right here. We'll have it come outwards just a little bit like this. We'll then attach this guy on to right about... Oh, to right about there. Very good. And we'll actually have it bend around. That's okay. Very cool. And we'll have this piece just go on there like this. And, yeah, I guess that works. Something like this. All right, cool. So, if that is on there, and we then seal it up, by doing something like this, we then need that to actually work fully. So what I'm thinking is, we delete these guys. We actually delete all of this, because it's a little bit too big. And we start this piece uh, a little bit further in. There we go. So we'll do something like this. There we go. Very good. And then we'll change it straight over to this one. Whack it on there like that. And then put these pieces on the end. 
And we should, in theory, have a very, very cool looking thing. Now, if you guys are noticing that it is like, I don't know, that my camera's panning really weirdly? I don't know why that's happening, so I'm sorry. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and delete from here to here. And we'll see if we can attach a, maybe a medium one. Oh, yeah, there we go. A medium one can fit right there. That actually looks pretty good, I would say. But the wing needs to be moved backwards slightly or made a little bit bigger. Yeah, because I think that actually looks really good. Yeah, nice. Okie dokie. So there it is in practice. There's our little wings at the back. They actually look pretty good. And the wing at the front. Yeah, I feel like it just needs to be a little bit bigger. We can do that. Or we could actually try and edit the actual main thing itself as well a little bit. And uh, have it sort of poke out a little bit more on the bottom. Which is something that some of these planes do. So let's say we did something like this. There we go, for example. Uh, and then we attached it to one of these. Okie dokie. Just like this. There we go. Let's say that goes all the way out to there. That's awesome. And then, I don't know, let's say that the top piece was then controlled, or we use this, this right here, to do something like this. There we go. Uh, we delete that, and then we actually have the whole thing go backwards from there, kind of like this, which is weird, but the bottom side actually comes out a little bit more, as you guys can see. If we delete a little bit more than that, we can actually possibly even use one of these. There we go. So if we used one of those, and we tried to use one of those for the bottom side as well, that'd be great. Here we go. Go ahead and flip it around and stuff. Put it in right there. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And we might actually be able to make it come out a little bit. Which would be awesome, because we'll be a little bit more stable. And, if we're wider, um, we can store more stuff on the inside. Now, I haven't said what this plane is for yet, so I don't really know what it's for. Um... But yeah, a few of you guys have said a cargo plane, a few of you guys have said like a military plane, a little bit like the PBY. Uh, and quite honestly, I'm not sure what I want to do. But let's go ahead and put this on here for now. There we go, have it come out a little bit. And I think we've got a pretty good thing going here if we use this. Alright, there we go. So if we put... Ooh, this is a problem. How do I attach this to this? Who knows? Okay, we just delete that piece, and then we attach one of these, and we do something like that, and that is how you attach it. Okay, very good. Go ahead and whack that on there, go ahead and fill this entire piece in, and all of this as well, and that is awesome. Yeah, it actually looks way better like that too. So now, we can actually delete most of this on the inside. As long as I get it to the right areas, that'd be great. There we go, delete all of that. Can't delete those, that's okay. Delete all of this, all the way down to there, all the way forwards to... I don't know where. There, all right, cool. Yeah. You know what? And then we can delete most of this as well. There we go. Fantastic. All the way to there. And whoops. We can probably delete most of this too. Yeah, we can. All the way to there. All right, very nice. That is a hell of a lot more room. And I think it looks a little bit more like the plane that it should be. Yeah. Okie dokie. So with all that being done then, let's go ahead and try and make these wings look and work a little bit better, shall we? There we go. Go ahead and cut this. Uh, if we can move this backwards a good chunk, let's say to about there, maybe one or two more, two back, there we go. Paste that right there, we then need to merge this with this somehow, uh, and once we've done that, we've got a good chance of making this look pretty good. However, we are going to use these guys, so, yes, so yes, let's go ahead and fill this little, whoa, I don't know why my, my mouse is doing that with the camera, but it is, so I'm sorry, but, um, Ooh, grab that. There we go. Go ahead and fill this in like we should. So that's going to go there. It's then going to go there. And that actually attaches together perfectly, which is great. There we go. That's great news. And then we're going to do something similar right here and right there. Okay. And then we're just going to seal this up just like this with this guy. And same with this. There we go. All right. We do need more of these on the bottom. If I can, so one there, one there, and then seal this up all the way back to there. Alright, merge it in. Merge this with this. We can't because it's not... Alright, hold on. Now merge it. There we go, delete this. Alright, awesome. So that wing looks a little bit more useful, and a little bit more like it should. So that's good. Uh, we'll then attach these guys, so the wings don't look so weird. And attach that onto there, and that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I would say that that works. 
Nice. Okie dokie. So now we actually need to figure out what kind of height the, uh, the, I guess the walkway and stuff will actually be and can actually be on the inside. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the right, oh god, the right colour. There we go. And let's say it's, um, one, two, no, the lowest part's here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's say it's, no, uh, we'll go down. No, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. So let's say it's there. Okay, we delete this all the way up. We put in a floor all the way to the front. There we go. Actually, probably not, but for now we can. All right, we'll bring it to here. That's good. And then we'll actually send it back from there as well. So it actually goes all the way back. That does mean we have to delete this and this. And we have to send it all the way back to there. All right, very good. That's fine. So we should, in theory, be able to walk around in there now. And that be okay. But we can't really test it because we can't get in there and it stay level. <laughs> Which is super annoying. But if we grab a door, then we should be able to figure this out. So sliding door. There we go. It's the right height for that. But honestly, it needs to go down one. It needs to go down one more. All right, we can do that. Okie dokie. So I do need to figure out where that floor was. And I need to put a block just below it so that we know where we're going. So there we go. That is where we're going. Very good. Delete all of this all the way backwards to the middle section. That's good. And then fill it all in from here because this is where the new floor is going. There we go. Very good. Go and fill all of this in all the way to the back end. All the way there. And then delete these guys on the outside. Boop. And boop. There we go. All right, cool. That is pretty sick. So that will be the floor height for us. And that means that this bit can just not be sealed. Oh, this bit. Yeah. Okay. So if this bit wasn't sealed, let's just delete a hole in the roof just for now. And we spawn it in. Does it still float? No. And you know why? Because there's so much weight in the floor that that doesn't work. So delete all of this all the way to there. Delete all of that. Spawn it in again. Does it float now? No, and the reason being is because there is a hole somewhere. Maybe, or oh, maybe there isn't. Ooh -hoo. Who knows? Who knows? Is there a hole in this somewhere? I wouldn't have thought so. All right, spawn it in. The easiest way to check is just to spawn it, fly inside of this thing, and no, there's no hole in here. But up here, not being sealed, is an issue. It's a big issue, actually. So somehow we got to make this actually float and uh, got to be honest, I don't know how that's going to work, but let's go ahead and try some pivots and see what that can actually do. So velocity pivots, let's go ahead and grab some of those and we'll see if it works. So we'll actually attach this onto there. One, two, three on each side and we'll do one, two, three at the back. Spawn it in, see what happens. Nah, not going to help. That is not going to help us. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Indeedy. And that's just because it's not sealed. And... Oh no, you know why? <laughs> you know why? Right, we don't need these pivots. Hang on one second. Uh, it was still sealed. That is the problem. <laughs> it was just full of petrol instead. Sorry, diesel. Uh, so right, create an issue somewhere else. Uh, right here instead. There we go, spawn it in now. Voila! Okay, it's a little bit floaty. Very good. Okay, so let's say that that's completely fine. We'll then delete all of this from here all the way to there. All right, and then maybe even this chunk as well, right there. And we can seal this bit up as if it's not even real. Whoop, there we go. Seal this bit up, and that creates some buoyancy at the back as well. And that actually sits very nicely in the water. So now we just need wings. Um, possibly a little bit of fuel in the bottom, and then we'll be good to go. That's awesome. Okie dokie, so I'm actually very, very happy with the way this is going so far. If we do actually add seats in here as it stands, uh, it won't look right, because, yeah, it just won't. Because uh, they'll be way too low, as you guys can see. But if we added some seats in, maybe if we do it differently, okay? So there's just a pilot. Alright, because sometimes I do a pilot and a co-pilot, but sometimes, in World War II at least, some of the planes... Uh, they only had, like, a, uh, I guess, like, they had a co-pilot, but not really, if that makes sense. So, we're gonna do this. We're then gonna do this on the other side. There we go. We're then gonna somehow create a stand 
Where do I want the guy to sit? Probably around here. So grab a seat. Put it on there. We can't. All right, so move it to the side slightly. Can we put a seat there? No, because of that piece. All right. Okay, but let's say the seat was off to the side. I think I'll be able to put this on like a track and it'll move in. Uh, that will be awesome. Yeah, that'd be super cool. All right, good. I'm happy with it. Nice. Okie dokie. And if you're wondering why I wanted to do that, it's because I do want side gunners on this thing if I can. Uh, like the PBY Catalina. It actually had them in the back right here. So if I deleted this area right there and this area right here, we could actually fit a gunner somewhere in here, uh, I guess, which would be awesome. So we can fit a gunner probably in this little section. There we go. And yeah, we can totally fit a gunner in there, which would be very, very cool. Yeah, we'd have to delete like this section too, all the way backwards. But honestly, if we put some guns in there, we make the, uh, the windows fit and stuff. That would be amazing. That'd be super, super cool. Again, I'm sorry for the, like, the random aggressive movements from my camera. I'm not sure why my computer's doing that, but there you go. Anyway, that will happen in the next one. We'll probably actually add the wings next. Uh, in the video after that, we'll add the pontoons to the wings. And then in the video after that, we'll probably end up uh, doing a little bit of interior work, getting this thing flying, and then, yeah, cool. So I don't want this series to go on for too long, honestly. Uh, I want to get this thing working, get it running. Um... It's probably going to have some bombs in the wings, maybe a few little bombs, uh, but we're not going to go overboard with the weaponry uh, like we usually do. So there you go. But anyway, let's uh, finish this up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though we didn't really do too much. We've added the wing at the back. Uh, we've obviously extended this wing and uh, yeah, we've put a floor in and it floats. So that's good. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.